I'm Skylar. To sync an iPod Touch fourth generation is just the same as syncing, say, an iPod Touch first generation, an iPad, an iPhone 5, anything. All of the uh, iOS products sync to iTunes in the same fashion, just different cables. So plug your cable, the sync cable, into your phone or iPod Touch, and then into your computer. iTunes should launch, and in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see it says Devices. In your case, it'll just say iPod. So click on your iPod, and it gives you vital statistics. It tells you where it's backing up. It tells you right down here if you are syncing it over Wi-Fi. Um, if you want to sync only checked songs and videos, what you prefer for standard definition videos. Um, and my favorite option, manually manage music and videos. It makes it easier, I think, to put exactly what you want onto your iPod. So up at the top, you see info, apps, tones, etc. So let's go to apps. Under apps, it shows you a picture of what your organization looks like on your iPod. So from here, I could rearrange things if I chose to. I could put things into folders. I can remove and install applications. I can see all of the applications that are stored on my computer. So everything that I've downloaded is there. It makes it really easy to um, put something back onto your iPod that you had previously removed, for example. Let's say Zombies Run. I didn't run over the winter, so if I wanted to, I could reinstall that right now from iTunes. Then if I go under Music, I can see here Sync Music. And in my case, I haven't synced this phone, so it's just going to remove all of the stuff and then put everything on from this iTunes library. If I wanted to do that, I could. In your case, it'll just say, um, it'll show you actually all of your content. Um, so you'll see all of your music and movies, and you can choose to synchronize certain albums or certain artists or even just playlists. And then you can go on to podcasts, you know, and you'll see all the podcasts listed on your iPhone. And over here on the far right, you see on this iPhone, this shows me everything that's currently on the iPhone. So all the music I've got loaded up, all the books, all the content in iTunes U, TV shows and movies, ringtones, voice memos. Oh, there are a bunch of voice memos on there that I didn't know about. So this is one of the advantages of syncing your iPhone. Let's go back to the info page. This shows you how to sync contacts, calendars, mail accounts if you're not using iCloud, tones, music, movies, etc. Once you've done, uh, or once you've organized things how you'd like, you know, said I want to sync these artists and these albums, these books and these movies, you'll see down at the bottom a breakdown of how much space all of those things take up on your iPod. Then click Apply, and it'll move everything over and organize things just as you like. Then you can unplug it and use it. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.